football is the home of the Super Bowl. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens coming up next. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs taking on yet another AFC team in the Baltimore Ravens. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Vegas. Let's take it in at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23 yard line. The Ravens offense set to go to work, and it's Lamar Jackson now in his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played. And his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you got the biggest game of your life to win. And they'll begin by running the option. The quick feet by Jackson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window to the 43 second down oh that's a real nice job there by the defense in front they just engaged and held their ground but how about the guy who made the play we often talk about whether they take a good first step or not many times you just don't take any step just get your feet moving get your body going and then once he made the read he was able to make the play first carry now for justice hill and a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll get this all the way down to the Chiefs' eight. 44 yards rushing for him now on their opening drive of the Super Bowl. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first to goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. A chance for the first points of this Super Bowl. It's first and goal. And now Jackson will look to throw it. 
This will be caught at about the six. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a new point there is they were able to connect. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Or might he go for it? Well, on fourth and goal, here's the option. And not only will he not get the few inches he needs, he's going to go backwards. No question, he's so dangerous down here near the goal line. The safeties, they have to be involved in run support against a quarterback like this. And in turn, they're going to ask their teammates to be involved as well. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good. Three points, probably not going to win this Super Bowl, but at least you get something on the opening drive. And it's certainly not going to lose it. So the bottom line is, come away with the points now, come back and get greedy later, and try and put it in the end zone. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. And the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. And he spoke very eloquently and passionately on media day about what a victory here would mean for him. He knows this just isn't any other game. This is the kind of game that stays with you for a lifetime. If there's anyone on this field tonight who's most ready for this moment, I think it's this man right here. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They run with the second-year man, Isaiah Pacheco. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hope will get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Mahomes to throw on second down. Man open, that's Marquez valdez Scantling. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. So Patrick Mahomes, guys, he's playing at such an elite level. Defensively, coming into a game like this, Charles, what, it's got to be a lot of things, but what worries you the most? <laughs> I think you're exactly right about that. The list is extensive about what worries you. The way he can move, make completions on the run, the way he can throw against his body, heck, make left-handed throws, you name it, he gets it done. The biggest thing, though, is once he gets into rhythm, Trying to get his timing chipped away, trying to stop that, that is really difficult to do. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 3 nothing is our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Mahomes now to throw. He finds his man, Sky Moore. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. From the 25, here's second and four. They go play fake. Mahomes. Caught Kelsey, left side. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. 
Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20 yard line. The sack there by Roquan Smith. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitz. Touchdown! Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on a touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, it's Edwards. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 67 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that would look like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking in the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. They'll go back to Edwards on first down. Fighting through. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 11 more on that one and another first down. And that's the big fellas MO right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Edwards now on first and 10. Dancing away at the 35. Yeah, boy, it is tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. From the gun, it's Jackson. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, this secondary, they've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Jackson. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Nick Burton. And the 
the Chiefs will take over here just shy of the 30. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs ready to go again. He was 4-4 on that opening drive, including the touchdown pass, as he'll try again here to duplicate that success, starting with a first down. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And they'll set up the screen to Pacheco. Only three there on the screen at second down. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game. But I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them. Maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit and they can throw it downfield. Here's second and seven. To throw, it's Mahomes. Finding more on the out route for the completion. Only able to gain a couple there, and it brings up third and five now. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Mahomes going to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. Down to the 10. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, 60 yards. And the Chiefs continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Butker on for the PAT. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drive, four plays, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. The Raven offense going to take over late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. Had an open man that time. They ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now a second and ten. Jackson. 
A short throw caught by Andrews. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So we've arrived at halftime here in Super Bowl 57 as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. And I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue with that type of a game plan. But you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl 54. 49ers had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Couldn't hold on. So plenty can still happen. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Looking to throw is Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground, and he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Here's Mahomes to throw. His throw incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's not locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Throwing is Mahomes on third. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out and ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure on the passer. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Second down in the yard. Throwing now is Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he's inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Now during that run, an injury here. We've got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Mahomes now on first down. And it's caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A well-executed 22-yard game. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Kadarius Tony laying himself out in the end zone. And the Chiefs will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. They go play action now. Jackson.
And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. This guy's proven himself to be one of the best in the NFL. He brings an added dimension to their offense with his ability to read defenses and know when he's able to pull it down and take off and go. And they run the option here on first and ten. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. From the 43, here's second down and seven. Jackson now. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 33. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. Now second and nine. Here's Jackson to throw. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The Ravens on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They're up against a third and one situation. Jackson. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So he needed one. He ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Try and hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. Well done there, making sure he got the first down and not worrying about trying to get a touchdown. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep. First and goal. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To throw is Jackson. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Now it's Jackson. They set up the screen to Hill. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Justice Hill from six yards away. And the Ravens are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. Yeah, Brandon, I think that our guys at Next Gen Stats in charge of the win probability are probably saying your chances still aren't great. But now you still got more than three minutes to go. You got to focus on the task at hand, which is going to be getting the football back as quickly as possible. Two 
scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. First and ten, here's Pacheco. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. Second down and four. Again, it's Pacheco. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now here's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Butker's kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points, so while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down by two touchdowns, a minute 46 to go. They've come so far this year, but they need two quick scores late in this Super Bowl. Jackson to throw. That is caught. Bateman. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Jackson. 
And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. What a Super Bowl it's been to this point. Now a critical third down here. Throwing. Jackson connecting with Andrews. And he will have a Ravens first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Partner, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? Two timeouts remaining, but time is of the essence. Down two scores. It's first and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Jackson's throw complete there to Beckham. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. This is first and ten. Now Jackson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Jackson. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Well, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Here's Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 35. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. To throw again is Jackson. Bateman's got it on the crossing route here. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. They'll come up first and 10 here. Now it's Jackson. complete with just six seconds left on the clock and now defensively in the two-minute drill the big key to me make sure you understand your assignments and anytime you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds get them on the ground another try from the 19 second and 10 throwing is Jackson For them, they needed that score with a little more time left on the clock. I think just too little, too late now. I would agree with that, and we're programmed never to say never. But in this case, we're asking a lot for them to even think they have a chance. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So with just a few ticks left, they need a miracle. 
And the Chiefs have got it. And with that, they should have a victory as well. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it.